A medical capsule is in the shape of a cylinder with two hemispheres stuck to each of its end. I'm sure you guys have seen it. What about they're talking about capsule and things, but I'll also show it to you guys. So we have a cylinder, two hemispheres stuck at the ends, right? So this is your basic structure of a capsule, is it not? Now, what is that they want us to find? The length of the entire thing is 14 millimeter. And the diameter of the capsule is 5 millimeter. Find the surface area. So quite simple. We will begin with writing given, which is radius of the hemisphere is equal to diameter of the hemisphere by 2, which is 5 by 2 millimeter. We, we have to begin with talking about the radius and the height and everything, right? Then even the radius of the cylinder is the same, 5 by 2 millimeter. Now we have to find the height. So height of what? The height of the cylinder. Let me go to a particular view. I think this will help. Yeah. Now. So we're looking at this. We need to find the height of the cylinder. Right, how will we do it from this end to this end? Okay, from this end to this end, we have the entire length to be 14 millimeter. The radius of this is we just found out it's 5 by 2, and it's the same for both. Okay, both the ends. Now we have to find this length from here till here. So how will we do it? Well, it's quite simple. This entire length is 14 minus 2 times of 5 by 2, right? So basically, this will be 9 millimeter. Okay. So you now I wish they allow calculation to be shown in diagrams, not here to, I mean, we have to write 2 total, it doesn't make sense to me. Length of the capsule the height of the cylinder we are talking about, h of cy is length of the capsule minus 2 times the radius of the hemisphere, right? So this is equal to 14 minus same calculation 9 millimeter, right? Actually, I could have shown it here only, anyways. Actually, na, I could have done that. But yeah, exam in exam you can't draw two two times. Here I can, but there you can't. So next is total surface area of the capsule is equal to curved surface area of the cylinder whose height is nine and whose radius is a uh, five by two plus curved surface area of um, hemisphere. Right, two times of it, there are two of it, is it not? Whose uh, radius is 5 by 2. Now, all we have to do is write the formula and substitute. Right? Okay, excuse. So, we have this to be 2 pi rh plus uh, 2 times of 2 pi r square. And so, we are left out with. 2 into 22 by 7 into radius is 5 by 2 into 9 plus 4 into 22 by 7 into 5 by 2 into 5 by 2. Okay, so 2 2 is a 4, then 2 1 is a 2. So what is left out? We are left out with 2 by 7, 2 by 7, and 5. That's common, right? 2 by 22 by 7 into 5, what is left out inside the bracket, 9 and other 5. So, this is what? 22 by 7 into 5 into 9 plus 5 is 14, is it not? See, you might wonder that how is that every time I get something to cancel, you know, after taking common and all that. Please understand that people who had made this textbook, they are smart and they do things which 
leads to such thing. It's not like it's a magic or something. You know, they meant to do this. Okay. So you need to understand that yes, they meant to do this, so you have to do it in that way because it helps in understanding things better. Seven one the seven two is a so this is basically two twenty millimeter square unit. If you miss out, then that is considered wrong. This is your answer, and you can pause and have a look. Please enroll to our program at chalkpreceacademy.com wherein we'll be teaching you a lot more tricks for faster simplification calculation, uh, DIY projects, we'll code with Python, we'll work with Arduino Uno, there are a lot more magic tricks and the physics behind it. There are printable materials which will help you recap and understand things better. We'll have live revision and doubt session two months before your term exams. It's very cost effective. There would be no ads or any kind of distractions and we have a dedicated app to help you guys with this.